G'day, I'm Luke Hopewell from Gizmodo Australia. So you've gone and bought yourself a touchscreen Ultrabook or convertible. Awesome work. Something to keep in mind though is that it does have a touchscreen which you might not have had before. Thanks to Dick Smith, we're going to walk you through how to make the most out of your new touchscreen Ultrabook, complete with Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1 is an operating system built to be touched, so don't be afraid to reach out and hit your screen to select stuff. First of all, it's important to make sure that your security is under wraps. Windows 8.1 allows you to set something called a picture password. The picture password means you're going to have to swipe or otherwise form a pattern on your home screen in lieu of a password before it unlocks the machine. That's handy if you have a lot of passwords in your head, but still want another layer of security on your touch screen. Another great touchscreen idea is to make the apps larger on your taskbar. Windows 8.1 helpfully allows you to group the apps on the bottom of your screen, meaning organizing them is super easy. Clicking on tiny app icons, however, may not be, so make sure you go into those taskbar menu systems and switch on larger app icons. Windows is more than just a snappy looking OS as well. It also allows you to be snappy with your apps. A process called snapping allows you to put two apps side by side and make the most out of your split screen multitasking environment. Just drag in from the left to select the app you want and then drag it to the either side of the screen you want it on. Windows 8.1 also allows you to customize how big you want the app to be on the snap for maximum control. The excellent touch interface is also backed up by a great touch keyboard in Windows 8.1. Now that keyboard's not only super handy, but also incredibly customizable. If you go to change PC settings on your options menu, you can customize the on-screen keyboard to do certain things with certain inputs, like add a full stop by double tapping the space bar. That's handy. Finally, make sure to use what Microsoft calls the charms menu. By swiping in from the right of your touchscreen, you launch a fantastic charms menu that's context specific to loads of different apps, while also giving yourself a bunch of different sharing options for screens, printers, and other devices you might have around your home. Now we've only covered five tips here, but you can find more by logging onto gizmodo.com.au or asking your friendly Dick Smith staff in store.